Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go over these problems here, and as we expand these, we should find uh, the quotient of powers rule for exponents, and you'll see how that works based on these examples, hopefully. So let's go and take a look at this first example, 3 to the power of 5 over 3 to the power of 2, and we're going to expand both of those. So you can see now, instead of exponential form, we have this expanded. And once we cancel out these threes that we can, because 3 divided by 3 here is 1, this 3 divided by 3 is 1, and which gives us the identity property of multiplication. So really what we have is a base of 3 being multiplied by itself 3 times. And that would be what we would rewrite this as in exponential form. Let's go and do this with the second example as well. So that gives us a to the power of 4 in our numerator, all over a to the power of 3 in our denominators. And when we cancel out the a's that we can, then we're left with this 1a left over. And let's go ahead and do that with the b's as well. So notice in the numerator we have these three b's from this exponent here. And in the denominator we have these five b's here. And when we cancel out the b's that we can, notice it gives us a denominator of b squared, but some of you may be wondering, what's in the numerator? Well, since it's the identity property here, we can just multiply that by 1, and then we would have 1 over b squared. Now I'll go ahead and expand this uh, bottom expression here, and we'll go through this one piecewise. So we have 4 to the power of fifth, 4 to the power of 5, and then we have 7x's right here like this. And then we'll go ahead and make this a fraction, divided by two 4's being multiplied together, and 4 of these x's. Now we'll cancel out these 4's here, and we'll cancel out 4 of these x's here. And what are we left with? Well, we have 3 of these 4's, and also three of the x's as well. So notice what's happening here is uh, since we're canceling out the same bases right here like this, so on this one we subtracted two threes from these five threes to get three threes. On the second example we've subtracted these three a's from these four a's to have one a remaining and then in this third example here, we have these three b's in the numerator that were subtracted from the three b's in the denominator because there was more b's in the denominator. So we had the two b's remaining, and then, of course, we had the one left over. Likewise, with this bottom example, we've taken two fours in the denominator and subtracted those from two fours in the numerator and the four x's as well. So really all we're doing is taking these and subtracting just the exponents, right? As long as the bases are the same, we can subtract the exponents. And that leads us to the algebraic rule for the quotient of powers. So if you see something like this, a to the power of m divided by a to the power of p, again, this is just uh, an algebraic expression for this or uh, an abstract expression for it. So we have the base remains the same, but the powers of A, the powers of the base, when we divide them like this, will be subtracted from each other like this. And you can see that in the previous example, where uh, previous four examples that we j just did, where the uh, values are just subtracted. Now, it was a little bit different for the example with the Bs, um, but you're going to see what that is here in a different video very soon.